Welcome to part 2 of the Double Tap tutorial. In this video, we'll be going over how to use EDM mode to more specifically tailor Double Tap's operation to electronic music. If you haven't seen the first part of this video, make sure to click up here to watch it to get familiar with the basic functions of Double Tap first. And before we move on, consider hitting the subscribe button to stay up to date with future submission audio news and product releases. So let's go. Before I proceed, I'd like to thank my friend Misha Mansour for supplying this song called Upload Apathy. So we're going to listen to the song first and then take a look at what Double Tap can do to help us out. And just the bass by itself. Very throbby, old school style dance synth. I, I love it. But as you can see, it's extremely staccato, very transienty. So it's pretty much calling for compression. It's calling for saturation, which means that Double Tap is going to be perfect for tailoring this synth to the entire mix. So let's take a look. This is how Double Tap opens up. The first thing you'll want to do, of course, is click on EDM mode to more closely suit it to this kind of purpose. Now, we're going to read through what EDM mode actually does. It alters under the hood parameters of Double Tap to more closely suit it to processing electronic bass synths. The all comp becomes viable across a greater reduction range, and the grunt saturation becomes far more aggressive, bordering on overdrive. So the bulk of the difference comes here in this section with the all comp, and of course here with the grunt saturation. More or less everything else stays roughly the same. So allow me to dial this in a matter of a few seconds and show you just how powerful Double Tap is on synth bass. And that's it. You can immediately hear that it adds a sense of weight and girth to the bass synth, which to me is absolutely perfect. It's exactly what you want out of a compressor, out of a saturator, working for these kind of purposes. So I'll guide you through why I did what I did and what it all means. As always, I begin with the low comp. In the case of EDM synths, I tend to use it less aggressively than I would on organic bass, because on EDM synths you tend to be able to do a lot more broadband compression with less artifacts. Now, the thing to bear in mind, after the low compressor is set, in this case, just too green for me, not, not very much reduction at all, we move on to the all comp. The all comp scale and operation changes in EDM mode. It allows you to get a lot more aggressive, and the scale of the gain reduction lights here changes too, meaning that it goes for a far, far longer uh, dB range. And once we dial it in nicely like that and pin the synth, we can then move on to the actual saturation. Now, grunt is one of my favorite saturation types for bass synths, and in EDM mode, it experiences a multiplier. It begins to almost border on overdrive. It's a very, very apparent saturation. I'll demo it now. The synth immediately starts to try and pop out of the speakers, which to me is absolutely perfect when it comes to dancing music. So given that that is pretty much all there is to using double tap on EDM, let me try and tailor it to the song with everything running at once. And in, out, in, out, in. Just makes all the difference. With that, we hope you enjoyed this walkthrough series of Double Tap. Make sure to hit the subscribe button to stay up to date with future submission audio news, and of course, check out some of our older videos containing walkthroughs that you may not have seen before. Until next time, I'll see you all later.